Hey y'all, it's Betsy from Cutting Corners Vinyl, and today is Craftsmas Season 4, Episode 6, and today is a cute one. Now, this is a tradition we have as a family, and it's something I do every year, and that is our family matching PJs. So, this year, I found these super cute Mickey Mouse pajama pants at Target, and they were $10, so... I had to make some shirts to go along with it. So this is the shirt design for this year. And if you wanna learn how to make it, then stay tuned. So we're starting off today's tutorial by weeding our vinyl. So I am using Glitterflex Ultra in Rainbow Opaque White for the snowflakes on the girls pajamas because you know me I need something a little bit extra something a little bit sparkly a little bit shiny and the Rainbow Opaque White is a rainbow glitter but it has a little bit of iridescence to it um this is the glitter that you can well all of the glitters you can take and sublimate on but this one is the one that has that iridescence to it now the pick i'm using there i did end up changing it is a little bit on the dull side but i absolutely love the specialty materials glitter flex ultra now I do take and change my heat press settings in between. Now the Glitter Flex Ultra, it requires to be heated at 330 to 320 degrees for 15 seconds. Now the other colors I am using are the Specialty Materials Thermoflex Turbo. Now those are heated at 270 degrees for Five, uh, four seconds. So those are a very easy to apply film and those are really great. And I'm using black, white, and the Thermoflex Turbo Brights in silver. And it has a beautiful, beautiful shimmer, like bright shine to it. As you can see, they weed really, really easily and they go on so so great um now you can also use those on nylon and they do apply a little bit at a warmer temperature on nylon and that is at a 300 degrees um now if you do apply them on nylon they do not take as much pressure it does go on at a a low pressure instead of a medium pressure um but these are really really great if you haven't played with them i do do recommend it they have a really strong grip to them and i really like them and they go on spandex lycra wool so they go on a lot of different materials but as you can see they weed really really easily um and with the lower heating temperature they can go on polyester and they don't encourage dye migration so if you're using it on things like dry fit material you don't have to worry about dye migration so you press it for five seconds um neons columbia blue and berry you peel them cold all others you peel warm Turn inside out, wash warm, regular cycle, mild detergent. You don't bleach them, tumble dry normally. Don't ever iron directly on these. They are suitable for dry cleaning. I am using for my heat press the Heat Press Nation 16 by 20 Signature Pro with auto open, ensure pressure. It is set on a four for the pressure, if you're wondering. I really like this heat press. Now what I'm doing is I'm applying the Glitter Flex Ultra first 
because it requires a longer and hotter heat. And then I'll go back and apply the Thermoflex Turbo. So I measured out where the biggest thing is going, which is the text. And I'm going to use that as my guide for everything else. Now I do have a tutorial on how to apply, on how to make the t-shirt guide. Uh, I will link that in the cards. Now the file that I'm using today, if you are interested, is going to be free on my Patreon page because I don't sell anything that has to do with Disney. But yeah, I'm just going to leave it up there if y'all want to have it. It's going to be linked in the description box as well. And I will link heattransfervinyl.com if you're wanting to take and try out any of these products as well as Specialty Materials website. They do send out samples because, again, they're my favorite heat transfer brand because they have so many unique products and colors, but they, again, their products are absolutely amazing. I've used them for many, 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 many years, and they're so good. So good. But, yeah, I love this product. Now, this is where I took and changed the temperature of the heat press. I lowered it down from the 330, down to the 270 but yeah doesn't that look so good it's hard to see that it's glitter here but whenever you actually see it in the light it looks so cute but I really love how this turned out I wanted it to really go with the pajama pants y'all know me if you've watched for a while, you know that I am obsessed with everything Disney. I'm obsessed with everything the House of Mouse. It's my thing. But whenever we saw the pants, we try to get our pajama pants. Typically, it is pajama pants because I don't know about y'all, but whenever we go to try to find the matching Christmas pajamas, they go very quickly, very, very quickly. And when we go to try to find them, it's typically always pajama pants that are left. Even though I go as soon as they put them out. Because it's not like I can go and buy them a year in advance. Because, you know, everybody's still changing shapes, sizes, you know, all that fun kind of stuff. And by the time I get there... It's not like I can buy full-on pajamas, so I can typically only buy the pajama pants. So I buy pajama pants, and then I make the shirts to go along with it. When I do, it's I try to make something that's cute and suitable for everybody and everybody's taste. And I'm lucky that everybody in my family loves Disney. But, you know, we've done other things besides Disney. We've done dinosaurs. We've done Star Wars. We've done Harry Potter. You know, we have done all different kind of things. We've done, uh, we did Surf and Santa Clauses one year. Um, I have done all different kinds. We did some stripey ones one year um, because I waited really long to do them. Uh, I have ordered from really off the wall custom places to make sure and this is to kind of show you what we do whenever to match boys and girls you know we make sure everybody has the same and I did end up trimming the top of that off and this is to kind of show you Thermoflex whether it be the term turbo or the plus one of the great things about it is it melts back together and not all brands are created equal in that and that's one of the things I wanted to talk about too is not all brands will do that and I know this from personal experience where you make a mistake you accidentally cut something apart or cut something off 
and you try to melt it back together, it doesn't always melt back to together. Thermoflex actually does. I know I've done it and you see, and you can no longer see the mistake. That is something great and that's something I absolutely love. But it definitely helps in the long run. Now, will it melt everything back together? No, but you see, look, I had the piece of the plastic stuck under Mickey's ear and now you can't even tell it was there once you go reheat it. But I love how this project came out and you can be creative. You can make whatever you want to go along with this. You can do it however you want to. But hopefully you like this. If you do, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button right down below. But I guess that's it, and we'll see y'all in the next one.